Hello, comrades! Commissar Bro here on the second, not second, but like fourth, Rise of Djibouti. That's right. Djibouti. Now do Djibouti. And although in the last episode things were going great for our pioneering country with our ambitious desires to be greater than we currently are, we took over Saudi Arabia and Somalia and Eritrea. However, we are faced with issues of how to spend our excess money and terrorist attacks which are occurring quite frequently. So, what we are going to do to begin with is covert action. I've already started calling in some new special agents to help protect our borders and I'm even going to make an elite one. Let's name him hmm, let's see Sean Connery. I think Sean Connery will protect Djibouti from the evils of other places. In the meantime, let's take a look at the diplomatic side of things. Everyone relatively hates us. Even the people who don't really hate us. Actually, our closest friend is the United States and Korea. So as you can see here. Apparently, they like that we took over Saudi Arabia and are selling them oil for much cheaper than we were. Which is not a bad thing. Some things to report about Djibouti and the current state of military affairs. We have the 17th most powerful land army and the 9th most powerful navy. Our air force was wiped out in our battles against the Saudi Arabians and we never really had a soldier army to begin with. We have terrorist attacks and espionage attempts by foreign countries who don't like us. Because again, we are pretty much surrounded. We're in a sea of enemies. Oh look, more espionage and sabotage and assassination, more sabotage. It is a great time to live in Djibouti! See, they're, they're trying to sabotage all of our amusement parks. I really, I don't know why everyone is so against the Djiboutians opening Djibouti land, but it's just, I don't know, it's happening. This It's a shame. It is an absolute shame. But that's okay, because soon Sean Connery will be protecting us from the evils of the world that surrounds us. That's right. As far as the market situation goes, we're doing much greater. Look at our budget. Like, we actually have decent health care, and education's maxed out here in Djibouti. So that means we are turning into an incredibly well-developed nation. Uh, telecommunications is still trying to catch up, and our birth rate is... Compared to our death rate, it's about the same, but it's... it's Kind of, that's a high death rate. 2.5 percent of your population is dying per year, <laughs> but that's also kind of a good thing because that means we're gonna have lots of young people getting forced into the work world. People don't live very long in Djibouti. Um, as far as the market goes, we're making all of our money off oil, pretty much oil and personal income tax. We're taxing the piss out of our people. Let's actually see where our taxes are at. Let's see, 48.8 percent. It's slowly gone down. I figured I'd bring it down and try to get tourism up, you know, because again, we're trying to make money off our amusement parks, so we want high tourism. And that is something we shall have. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this excess money and we're going to throw it into the market. Try to, uh, you know, increase our gains, as it were. Because I would much rather be producing more than I'm consuming. As you can see, in food and agriculture alone, we're only producing about, you know, 20 billion dollars of the 51 billion dollars that we're using. However, we're getting it back in trade, but eh, I still want to make it myself because then we can actually go back around and start selling it to other countries and thus making money on it, which is the overall goal. Let's increase the tobacco market. My people need more cigarettes. We need cigarettes for our non smoking signs. We need a reason to have no smoking signs in our amusement parks and to have those really awful smoking circles where you limit the people to that one portion of the park and that's the only place they can smoke. Bastards. I hate that. <laughs> As a smoker, it pisses me off. Anyway, 
We're going to bring down this sect tax, though. I want it to grow. I want it to flourish. I might need to consult my manual on world domination. Oh, oh look, a war. War's going on. Who is this? Italy is attacking Libya. Huh! It's World War II all over again! My God! What did, what did Libya do to you, Italy? And the U.S. is helping them? Let's see. War list. Italy. Libya. No, I guess... I don't really know why the Americans are there. They're not at war with anybody. And Greece and China? The hell does Greece want from China? Maybe it's just like a show for... Look at that! They landed in China! China is, like, broken up into nothing. Like, it's, it's all owned by Italy now. Italy is turning out to be a pretty big aggressor. I'm not sure where all this pent-up aggression is coming from. Maybe they want to prove themselves after World War II. You know, they're like, Ugh, we must do something awesome. I, but they do have, like, you know, look at that. They're pretty much the third or fourth most powerful country in the entire world. Uh, people are becoming richer! Yes, yes. Everybody shall be able to go to the amusement parks. Terrorist attacks have been terrible lately. Assassinations are abound all over our government from other countries. The only one who can save us? Sean Connery. He's about to be activated. We're sending him into the field to protect Djiboutian interests and in Saudi Arabia. Boom! Look at that! He makes up 50% of our protection alone! Damn right. I might have to get another spy in here, though. Aha! We captured a foreign cell for Burkina Faso. Ah! Terrorist attacks! Ah! Ah! <laughs> See, this is, this is currently what I'm faced with. This is like the aftermath of, um... Yeah. <laughs> being a dick. And taking over other people's countries. As all the other countries in the world start to be, well, this guy was a peckerhead. And then they start, you know, screwing with you. Mm, let's see. Let's name this one James Bond. Uh, how about, how about, how about Bonded James? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's make one more, too. Do a veteran. That one dude in spy movies that always has an eye patch. All right, yes. That is the perfect defender of our nation. Especially with a name like that. Yeah. Looks like Bonded James is now ready to be activated, as well as that one dude in spy movies that always has an eye patch. All right, let's activate him. Get him on the field. I have been in negotiation talks with the United States and Russia for new weapons of war. Obviously, we're needing to protect our borders more and more every day. It's a shame. But Djibouti is surrounded. Djibouti. Djibouti. Djibouti is surrounded by enemies on all sides. And as such, we have decided to... Get the Americans to build us airplanes and junk. Even the Russians built us some Su-37 super flankers. Another terrorist attack. Damn it, Sean Connery! I know I'm asking a lot from you, but I need you to do more! There we go. <laughs> Alright. You know, this is kind of sad. <laughs> so many countries want me dead. It's a shame. Most of them are African, too. You see the red areas? Those tend to be the places that are kind of fucking with me. Europe is... Europe loves me. Oh, God. Cuba hates me. Why, Cuba? Well, I love you, Cuba. Baby, come back to me. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. No, I was wrong. That should be our target. The United Arab Emirates. Oh, yeah. They are rolling in the dough, and they have no army. <laughs> Yes. Alright, so that's actually going to be our target. It has changed, boys and girls. We're going to go over at the UAE to increase our economy even more. Look at those people. They're fucking rich. Look at that. 38,000. Good lord. Look at Qatar. Oh my god. These little, these rich people. I mean, I knew they were rich in real life, but Jesus. I didn't know they were like that rich. We are going to come over the border at them like a bunch of wild Djiboutian jellyfish. Why jellyfish? I don't know. I just imagine the 
the squiggles and the movements of the jellyfish. For some reason, that just excites me. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, so we're going to attack the UAE because nobody really likes them anyway. Yep, that's right. That's who I'm going to attack. Let's deploy some forces to the capital. Actually, let's put them right there. With Abrams. Protected by Abrams. With airplanes. No, 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 no. I'll just train those airplanes more. Oh, look at you. Look at you, Qatar. Aren't you just so devastatingly cute? Wait, who is that? Uh oh, that might be a problem. Who's this guy? I don't remember that flag. Maybe it's Jordan. Yeah, it's Jordan. No, it's not. I don't know who that is. Oh. I guess it doesn't really matter. The point remains is I'm getting what I want, when I want, how I want it. Have it my way. Just like Burger King says. Yeah, that's right. Let's go crawling over that border. There we go. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Back over to uh, the UAE. Conquer it. In the name of Djibouti. Yes, yes! To go to war with me. Look, I don't know why Russia's putting up with my ass. They hate me, but they're still my ally. Look at that, you see that blue? <laughs> Alright. That was clearly a good idea. Look at that. A huge influx. Like, that added like another 10, 12 billion dollars to my total balance per year. My income. So, this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. However, let's go ahead and park our soldiers and make sure that any wars we're involved in are over. Oh look! We discovered wealth here! Sweet. <laughs> That's such an odd discovery to just make. We just found wealth. Really? Oh, that's great. And focus on what's really going on here. Djibouti is plagued with attacks all over the world from various different countries. From Cameroon to Kenya to Chad, Burkina Faso, Angola, Benin, so on and so forth. Of countries that just want to see us burn. Which I'm not surprised. As you can see, again, as per usual, we're in a sea of enemies. Everyone hates us! I know how to make friends. I was always that one kid on the playground that everybody just loved to be friends with. As you can quite obviously tell. Mm, war. But anyway, taking over the UAE was great for us because it increased our per capita by about $4,000 per citizen. The budget is still practically maxed out. I don't want to max out healthcare yet because I don't want an incredibly small uh, population. I want my population to keep getting bigger. Plus, I just feel like I don't need to raise it any higher. And propaganda always stays low just because other countries like you more if you don't have a high propaganda level. Propaganda. Propaganda. Anyway. Um, so, the situation is as follows. We are spreading the ideology of amusement parks across the Middle East, it seems. As it seems like it's probably the easiest target to pluck. Everybody hates them anyway. <laughs> so, whatever. We're going to design our own units. Why not? Let's, you know, do it. Let's design a tank of Djibouti. Let's call it... Nah, nah. How about the... The Sandland Liberator! With an exclamation mark. We'll call it Mark 1. Mark 1. There we go. Sandland Liberator. Mark 1. Now let's upgrade that. Yeah, that's right. Alright. And let's, yeah, let's make it desert colored. Give it a different chassis. A different hull. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it look sexy. I don't want it to be too badass. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mm. Alright, let's give it a, let's give it a, Oh, yeah! There we go. Wait, I like this one better. All right! It looks like a Tiger Tank from World War II, sort of. Just weirder. Anyway, let's see how our protection is doing. We think, I think we might need to train another spy or activate another spy. I think we should activate another one. Let's name this one... Commissar Spy. Yeah. There we go. Let's call it make him a veteran. Alright. Well, on that note, 
I feel like I've dragged this on for long enough. As you can tell, we now have the 8th most powerful land army, the 12th most powerful air force, and a powerful economy to boot. That's right. We are making it in the world, ladies and gentlemen. We are making it. Soon. Soon we can have nukes. Everyone will hate us. And it will be awesome. The greatest. Seriously, though, our stability is rising up. Let's look at how our uh, tourism is doing. Okay. That needs to get higher. Oh, look. Oh, what? Italy. Why is no one mad at Italy? They're going to war with Sudan. What the fuck? Everyone hates me for, like, what, what is Italy doing? Cleansing, like, Africa? What is this? Look at them. They're pulling a Germany. What? Uh, man. Djibouti will protect its interest, Italy, if you get any closer. Don't. What's the word? Tempt me. Don't you tempt me. Actually, you know, it does seem like they're actually getting kind of close to me, huh? Look, they're right on my border. Now they actually share a border with me. You better watch yourself, Italy. You better watch yourself. You're creeping into the house of Djibouti. You can only come here if you're coming to my amusement parks. That's it. That's it. Anyway, let's see what happens next time on Rise of Djibouti.